again, like we know that police plant shit here. Well, I mean, and even like so with them saying that you may not even know until not you try all cops, to, obviously them saying that you may not even know that there's a, a ban until you try to leave is pretty telling. Um, so, yeah, we definitely wouldn't know. But it seems like, you know, even their citizens won't even be aware yeah, that no. this is stuff that they're doing. You just go um, to leave and go back home. And they're like, oh, by the way, they're like, what the fuck? They're like, all right, put it back over. Your head. Put it in the back yeah. room. You're, you're not going. It's like, what? Yeah. What I do? Well, you know that coffee shop you walked by Tuesday and you bought a coffee from? Well, they're pro Taiwanese. You were so, using their Wi Fi. So you, you fucking, know what? When you liked that picture on fucking Twitter. Yeah. Um, you did this. The free Taiwan picture. So yeah. you're going to fucking the Gulag. So, so we checked your Twitter history and you have like 18 <laughs> posts against us. <laughs> Prison. So this right here says uh, uh, US due to it. Okay. So I was ready for the beginning. So I'll fuck it up. Uh, China's Ministry of Foreign Affairs on March 29th warned citizens of challenging travel conditions to the US due to a spike in cases where Chinese students and company employees were subjected to unwarranted warranted interrogations and harassment by u.s airport law enforcement officers uh, much different oh than, so, so like u.s US officers about, yeah. are saying you're a fucking chinese spy because yeah. you work at the university supposedly it seems like that might well, have been the that, case. that that checks out for americans okay? <laughs> yeah it seems like so we would do <laughs> uh, china's, yeah, we tra <laughs> china's travel advisory charged. uh for citizens entering the u.s urges safety precautions in preparation for various unexpected situations, quote unquote, uh, detailed a South China Morning Post news report. Uh, the ministry and the Chinese embassy and the con uh, consulates in the U.S. have lodged a solemn representation, a solemn representation to the U.S. Uh, since November 2023, at least eight Chinese students with valid documents have been searched, interrogated, or sent back from Washington. Dole's uh, International Airport alone, according to a tally by Chinese media. A biological uh, sciences PhD candidate has also claimed to have been subjected to a body search eight hours in an interrogation room and 12 hours in solitary confinement before being deported by officials at Dole's Airport in December last year. She was due to return to the U.S. to continue her studies. Uh, these incidents appear to be set to be a setback in the pledge uh, by both countries to facilitate educational and other exchanges in recent months. In November, while on a visit to the U.S., Chinese uh, President Xi Jinping uh, said China would invite 50,000 young Americans to study in the next five years. Yeah, get out. Yeah, yeah right. right. Dude, that's a, yeah. Go there. Yeah, Go there right now. Yeah, good luck, guys. Like, like, uh, uh, like. Honestly, like, again, like, there's not really. Again, you could fly here, be a, be a, uh, some of this foreign visiting, and then stumble upon the wrong neighborhood somewhere, and get in trouble just organically. Yeah. Right outside of wrong like, wrong, right, yeah, wrong yeah, outside of police shit. Right. Yeah. This is the type of shit where it's like. My wife's family being from Serbia, like I make my jokes about them being Russia's cousins, but the, I have I f like flat out been told by her family and the and the part of her family that actually owns a trucking company over there, which is kind of sketchy. And um, guy goes back and forth that yeah, no, if you if you go to like you know I forget God, so I'm so sorry that I'm forgetting it's a country that, or a city or something. Yeah, that I'm forgetting the capital of fucking Bel of uh fucking uh, Serbia. Serbia. Um, but oh yeah, it's bad. Again, I've been I forgetting never knew, a lot. To be uh, well, obviously, I have to now. Okay, Belgrade, Belgrade, Belgrade. I got it before you pulled it. Oh, I don't I know think if he's I did. falling out of the corner of his eye. <laughs> no, but yeah, <laughs> but, yeah Belgrade. No. So, um, like if you go there, like cool. If there's certain place, like certain places, yeah, you're not going to be good. Like you're yeah, just going to. But sense. again, well, I don't know if that's government or yeah. just like Serbian people being like, "Yo, who the fuck are you?" Yeah, and then, but like you said, it's almost anywhere. Yeah, it's anywhere. It's right, like that's maybe, what I'm saying. Maybe a little less in America, only because we're so multicultural. Exactly. So people yeah, it, kind of which is why. Yeah, that, all right. Yeah, but that's where it's like it's different there. Where it's like, yeah, okay, I go here for school. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try to go home after my semester, and you're just gonna tell exactly. me that I fucking can't leave. And oh, by the way, I'm now in prison. Or you can't come back. That's what happened yeah. in this case. The child can't come well, back. She tried to come back, and then they said, "Go, go back." Yeah, which is uh, fucking like well, it's crazy. Yeah, again, I mean, what would you like on Twitter? That's your fault. And this is well, <laughs> and this is though like when we were talking about the human thing, and like sometimes you don't can't get too caught up on it. Um, this is an instance where obviously I think it does apply. Like you know, these are just normal citizens. It's not that we shouldn't take some vigilance. Obviously, we always should and try to protect ourselves. Um, we have agencies in place for that. Um, 
but yeah, like the profiling and shit like that to a certain extent. Like, I mean, we're talking about a fucking college student. Well, let me ask you this, just to kind of play the other side here. Yeah, okay. Sure. As 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 we talk about like uh gentrification here mm -hmm. and imperialism and all this, if over there they have their mm -hmm. and again, like 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 this is where we struggle all the time where we talk about like our ideal like utopia, like like one world kind of everyone living kumbaya. Right. And we have all these different cultures that obviously we're so far like outside of any type of traditional culture. Sure. We don't we piss on it essentially. Yeah. Uh we piss on tradition in a lot of ways. Mm -hmm. But there there's a lot of ways where they stick to a culture, to their to their mm -hmm. tradition. And being too mm -hmm. introduced to American or Western civilization could be a threat, right? Just like as as we take certain things as threats to us. Yeah. Um so is there is there a like a way to look at this as them being in the right in their way to where like there's certain things that they don't want to indoctrinate again like that's something that, that we've talked about here on one side you know, I'm indoctrinate. The, trying to figure out so because the person that's being sent here to quote unquote be indoctrinated they're being like if that's being the indoctrination is what they're not getting because right. it's the u.s is saying no we don't believe that you're here to learn you need to go back to china so I don't think it's the same thing. No, no, no I'm yeah. saying like China is saying that they don't want like like certain American. I, again, I'm I'm trying to understand like like yeah, what's going like I'm trying to understand what exactly the issue is why they're imprisoning people or saying that you can't leave our country. China. Yeah, China, and then we oh. do it back. China does that with their own uh, right. citizens. But over what though? Uh, going against speaking culture. Out against the government. Speaking right. against government, not allowed. Uh, Which, but but what would be against the government and, and like what would be the government sphere? Um, and change of culture, change like an, an advancement in their society as far as like like a colonization mm -hmm. issue, and then them I'll trying to, to yeah. teach like 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 keep culture again. Like this is just where it's like I think I'm on, I'm yeah. obviously on the side of evolution. Like we evolve as people, we grow, yeah. and society changes, and we need to change always it. adapt and adapt and adapt with society. Mm -hmm. But there's obviously the other side of the world that thinks that we in America are fucking idiots for well, doing but that. They might. So they I think they do feel like they want to uh, uh, evolve, but it's just like we don't agree on how to do that. Right. So like there's like these social things that we hold in a really high esteem and like individual liberty liberties that we might hold in really high esteem in like a Chinese culture. Maybe those kind of tenets are not are not that important right. in their culture so exactly like, yeah. yeah you being your own individual and being able to express yourself and express how you feel about the government uh they may not value that the same exactly. way that we do in yeah. america and they may be like oh, that's not helpful fuck, mm -hmm. fuck you you're getting put i don't know if you're familiar with this but you're familiar with the guy that uh created alibaba uh, i think his name's like jack jack mai or something like that jack ma mm -hmm. either way, he's a chinese guy um and he's a billionaire so he's kind of like one of the richest guys in fucking china he's a billionaire um and he spoke out against the Chinese. The government was critical of them, and he disappeared. He disappeared. Completely okay. disappeared. Yes. Yeah, um, let me see if I can pull this. Guy. It's wild because, like, I, again, I don't really have a good understanding of what Chinese culture is in the in the twenty in twenty twenty four. You yeah. know about like like the big city, yeah. right? You know about Hong Kong. Mm -hmm. You know how that is, and that's obvious. But again, I'm still uh, through the understanding and lens that a lot of it is poverty, right? But like poverty, a lot of it is. Uh, you know, people in little villages, do they still eat yeah. on the floor? Like, 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 is it still all that? And again, like, like, yeah, like you said, like, there's certain things that they want to keep to them. So, yeah, where we bring in that individualism, that would be a threat to a, to a government like that. Well, and they and they also I, we may have talked about it before because this is a pretty popular thing, but they censor their. Google, so like Google searches, which I mean, we may even we well. kind of do that too. But, yeah. Well, but, I mean, but you literally can't find things. So like, for example, like is, right. Tiananmen Square. I don't know how much you're familiar with that, but that's a. Uh, it was like a protest in China. Yeah, no, I'm in, I'm honestly very ignorant on a lot okay. of like the shit that it's, happens in China. That so it's just an iconic. You probably even have seen the picture. To be honest, there's a uh, really popular T. I don't know how to spell Tiananmen. Uh, T. I just know that we have a, a about forty percent of our country here that disagrees <laughs> with individualism as well. <clears throat> and uh, and I. I always kind of try to say the guys that you guys hate and want to protect us from all the time you guys kind of resemble when you talk about certain policies so it's right here so can, can, can you we'll guys keep it on china okay. <laughs> Not for now so look yeah. right here um this picture right here this is a famous picture um this is rolling in their own country these tanks are running rolling up into tiananmen Holy square shit. and this is supposedly modern 
Well, no, this looks like nineties. Yeah, yeah, this looks like nineties. Yeah. Um, and there's a massacre that happened that day. Um, and oh. so in China, this is one of the kind of like famous stories. This guy, Tank Man. Wow. wow. Um, they were not. They're not able to see this picture in China. Yeah, they're not able to see this picture. Um, and Google actually refused to be in China initially because they wanted to censor, uh, censor it. And I know we. I think we talked about. It. I think this is why I thought we There's had too many oligarchs before. in today's world to even like follow yeah. that anymore. Well, so uh, Google they didn't didn't want to go in China because of that. And their their uh, old catchphrase or whatever was don't be evil i don't know if you remember yes that. yeah so, remember, i remember i was talking about that and there's nothing they're more evil than that. Yeah, they're fucking horrible <laughs> uh, but so they, <laughs> they, they, they ended up agreeing to it and they were just like hey and they they have actually addressed the criticism they're they're like if we don't do it then they'll create a google but then it's like okay you just don't get to make the money <laughs> exactly exactly you're just not able to they're capitalize like, they're like we're not able to so get in on sorry that. we're asking you to put morals which, which again again that's, that's a very big that's, that's a very big hypocritical Market. statement oh, okay. though by a certain party <laughs> that would want them not to take that money because they're yeah. saying hey don't follow your capitalistic values and to and choose you know Feelings and morals and empathy, uh, 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 you know, aside from money, which obviously some of us want, some of us don't. Yeah. But anyways, outside of that, um, <laughs> what a piece of shit I am. No, um, <laughs> no uh, that's wild. But again, like, like we feel like that our government does that, which that's where yeah. I'm always on the argument of is on the opposite. Is like I don't think our government goes that far. Know, man. I but mean, yeah, it's, it's fair think to so either, think about it's fair knows? to say yeah. yes yeah i think but it's again have we ever seen tanks in the middle of our streets uh, i guess alabama did a long time ago in the six in the civil rights movement but um but i i don't know like how often like we've really had that so it's like and again well, it's hard because like today's society and that's the thing with like tiktok and shit why like i and again the left is kind of the ones on the side of, of banning it and i don't understand it because yeah. Sure, there's some propaganda that gets through. There's gonna be propaganda with this shit today. <laughs> Come get, get the fuck out, okay? Yeah, I mean but, propaganda for sure. Yeah. But the amount of knowledge and the amount of dude, that shit, like with the buildings blowing up in China that we were seeing, like fucking right away. Hey, look, like, this is on TikTok. Oh, and look, and it's like that shit that now everyone knows really happened. Where mm-hmm. without TikTok, without that at, that that accessibility. We would never sense. know, yeah. or maybe not at all. Yeah, yeah. you so. you may never know that it happened. Yeah, so, I, mean, I have, good, I have a, a decent amount of faith in Twitter for that. So I imagine. Well, yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. There. But I mean, I feel you are right. Which but, again, Twitter's owned by somebody yeah, who's clearly right now, clearly yeah. pushing certain narratives and wanting yeah. control certain things. You do see some, but you get some good. I mean, sometimes too much. It's almost uh, too unfiltered. Some of the shit that you do, oh, there's wild yeah, the shit. Israel Palestine shit. I've just seen some of the worst fucking videos I've yeah. ever seen in my life. Just Which do, do you think again? Like, okay, I'm gonna say this. Yeah, we were talking. We were watching.